Hey CG, I'm Madison. And I'm Maddie. And we have your weekly announcements for Friday, November 8th, 2013. First up is Joe Taylor's video about the dodgeball tournament. If you can dodge traffic, you can dodge the ball. Children's Hospital. This is all part of the Student Council Riley uh, Committee. We have a committee meant to help us raise money for that that uh, hospital, and we have that committee. They do different fundraisers throughout the year, and this is one of them that we added this year. You might have noticed that the library has changed since fall break. Devin McQuaid has a video about the changes. <laughs> What is new in this library? Um, the organization system of books is different. We've moved from the Dewey Decimal System, uh, where we go by the barcode of the book, um, to a genre-based system. The furniture is obviously new. Um, it's really comfortable, too. So The entire area is more designed as a study place than a library. Uh, so you can come in here during study hall and get together with a bunch of friends from another class and just kind of cry, uh, sit down and work out. Uh, the future down the road is going to be part of the major renovation project that the high school is going to go through. We're going to be changing the bookshelves, we're going to be changing uh, the circulation desk, and we're going to be changing the entry. And most of the areas that were not changed this summer, this past summer, will be changed. We will uh, be reconfiguring the outside spaces to go along with the general, uh, general construction that's going to be going on with, at the, in the high school. The entry definitely will be changed. It's going to be down near, if you're in the media center, down near 411, the computer lab. It will be a kind of a large, long, not large, long hallway that will be open from the cafeteria to the media center. And in those areas, you're going to find collaboration rooms, you're going to find a tech room. And if everything goes okay, there will be a, a coffee bar that will have like a bookstore kind of feel. In a few weeks, the CG Theater Department is bringing you the fall play Letters to Sala. Jake Smith, who plays Harry Hanbenstock, has made a preview for the play. Thanks. Nick Evans has video game news. Hey CG, Nick Evans here with video game news. Today I will be reviewing Batman Arkham Origins. Origins is a prequel made by Warner Brothers Montreal. It takes place two years into the Dark Knight's career. During the course of the game, we are introduced to several of Batman's rogues gallery, including Penguin, Joker, and Deathstroke. So what makes this game good? Well, first off, we have the same combat engine taken from Arkham City. Also, the story is actually very good. It starts out simple enough, but it gets darker and grittier as the game goes on, and we get to see the psychology behind both the Joker 
and Batman to some extent. Add a few really well placed plot twists and you've got a good story that while isn't as good as Arkham City's is for the most part on par with Arkham Asylum. Also Troy Baker as the Joker was the perfect casting to replace the retired Mark Hamill. While their styles are very similar, Baker's is just a tad bit different. What marks this game down? Well, first off, the Riddler challenges are for the most part gone from the game. They are still there, but they don't have any that allow you to delve into the backstory of the Batman universe like in Arkham City. The graphics seem like they decreased in value from City, that may be a different change on the next gen consoles. Lastly, multiplayer was a stupid add-on. Why? Because when you have games like Arkham Asylum and Arkham City where you have no multiplayer and they are great games without it, adding multiplayer in this may have actually taken away from the time to develop an even stronger story. Overall though, Arkham Origins is a worthy successor to its predecessors and rightfully deserves an 8.5 out of 10. And that's all the video game news I have for you today, CG. See ya. Now CG, Peter Krozis has a No Shave November update. It's the No Shave November beard update. We have a very special occasion for this No Shave November challenge. We have an anonymous donor, and they're very gracious. They're willing to pay 10% of all our donations, or up to $200. Now, CG, that means we need to raise $2,000. That's only $1 for every person at this school. Now, if you don't have one of the teachers that's in these challenges, maybe you just, you just take the kindness in your heart and you just take that dollar down to the main office and you give it to one of those receptionists so that they can put it in our great, great assistant principal Benji Betts' bucket. And then we'll all just have a grand old time trying to beat this beast of cancer. CG, we can do it! But only if you donate your dollar today. Let's all do it. It didn't do it. But you know what? We'll still do it anyway. <laughs> no shaves! <laughs> Donate your dollars to your favorite bearded teacher or administrator this week. Right now, Mr. Gaff is in the lead with over $60 in donations. Now we have a special sports update with Brianne Boswell. Hey CG, Brianne Boswell here with your sports broadcast for the week. Most fall sports have come to an end, but the football season continues on. Jeffersonville did not hashtag beat Grove last Friday night. With a 35-0 win, the Trojans came home with a sectional championship. Center Grove forced many turnovers in the game. The first was an interception by Drew Wozniak. Ryan Pendergraf also intercepted a pass in the second quarter, which led to a Lane Morris rushing touchdown. Fifteen seconds later, the Trojans recovered a fumble and Justin Vetito scored on a 19-yard run. At half, CG led 21-0. In the fourth quarter, Max Norris ran for a touchdown and Alex Ackerman ran for an interception back for a Trojan touchdown. If you've come to support the Trojans this year, you might notice a new Trojan tradition honoring a former classmate. Madison Triwetty brings us a video on CG's 12th man. Bring them out, bring them out, hey! Bring them out, bring them out, yeah. In 2009, Tyler Jennigan lost his four-year battle to leukemia. Even though Tyler passed on, his legacy is still carried out through Center Grove football. Four years ago, a Center Grove High School lost a very important member of our senior class. Uh, he was a brother, a friend, and more importantly, uh, one of our senior football players. These seniors have dedicated themselves, their whole football careers to him. As freshmen, they broke down, you know, with Tyler's name after every drill. Um, before the game, we have we actually have a locker um, that has his jersey both on the way, um, has a helmet on, has all the stickers are on there. We have every senior gift we get one for Tyler, um, whether it be a Camelback. Um, a pillowcase, whatever, they're all in his locker. Um, and before the game, um, as the captains are walking out to go, um, you know, to, to the coin toss, we walk out of the shirt. I know that you can't bring Tyler back, 
but we can sure we sure did a great job of keeping his memory alive. I write RIP TBG on my wrist tape, and whenever I score, I point up to the sky for one God and two Tyler. I think as a person, you, you one of the things you hope is you are remembered, and you know I, I truly believe that this kid is. Uh, Will always be on our hearts, and uh, he's had a he's had an impact on our season, and it's not over yet. We're gonna get one for uh, 12 minutes strong. Thanks, Madison. This weekend is the fourth annual Play It Forward football tournament, supporting Tyler Jenikins Foundation. The tournament will be held at the Center Grove Bantam football fields. At the tournament, there will be a needless free bone marrow screening drive. Come out Saturday or Sunday this weekend at the Bantam fields off of 144 to support Tyler Jenikins Foundation. Tonight, the Trojans play Southport here at, this, at home looking to win the regional championship. Come out to this field tonight to enjoy a Trojan game and cheer them on for another victory. Thanks, CG. See you next time. Thanks, Brianne, and thanks to today's sponsor, the Driving Academy. That's all we have for you today, CG. Bye. Bye.